Hi everyone and welcome once again to Lorex Developers. Today I want to talk about hackers. who is a hacker and what normally hackers do. A hacker is somebody who gains access to an information or maybe to a computer without any authorization. We have different types of hackers. We have the black hat hackers, we have the white hat hackers, and we have the gray hat hackers. White hat hacker probe a cyber security weakness to help organization develop stronger security. Black hat hackers are motivated by malicious intent uh, while the great attackers operate in the nebulous area in between. They are not either malicious uh, but also they are not ethical. Uh, so uh, in Kenya we also have hackers and most hackers in Kenya they love to live their own personal life uh, whereby they do a lot of uh, investigation on uh, issues on information, issues on the internet and mostly, especially the black attackers, they do them for the sake of uh, maybe self-gain, to sell, to sell the information to a particular organization, or rather, let's say, to have a specific uh, interest, uh, maybe just for their own benefit or maybe gains. Um, so mostly they love to live in their own environment, uh, and they make their life uh, be within the environs of a computer. So they basically do a lot of research, uh, investigations and uh, operate around a very uh, a very silent area, an environment whereby there are no people. So that is basically their lifestyle. Uh, actually, we have different types of hacking techniques. Uh, we have the phishing technique. Uh, we have the Trojan technique. We have uh, the uh, we have also the social engineering attack technique. Trojan horse uh, technique. We have so many different types of uh, hacking techniques, but mostly the, the ones which most hackers use is a phishing method, the phishing technique. That is what most uh, cyber experts they normally use. One of the mostly used uh, tool within the Kali Linux environment is a social engineering attack, whereby somebody can just launch a link and send it to you within a phishing method. And um, the moment you receive a link from the unknown person, uh, mostly they want to do it to basically get information from you. Actually, uh, the first technique that I tried for hacking, I tried to use a phishing, te phishing method uh, whereby I launch it to various people, I send it to the links, and uh, normally phishing will definitely give you uh, let's say an input of what they log into their keyboards. Um, uh, when somebody clicks the link, then the link takes him to uh, the fake browser. For example, you can create a browser for the phishing, and once you launch that link to somebody else, the moment the person clicks that link, it will take him or her to the, to the website, that is a fake website, such as Facebook. And no, normally it will ask you for your username, it will also ask you for your password. The moment you key in your username and your password, this, uh, this link will direct you to a certain uh, internet, let's say, let's say, okay, it will definitely open your Facebook page, but now the hacker will gain, will get the real-time uh, 
uh, uh, pin that you've entered to to your Facebook page. That is the username and the password. And definitely, they can always gain access to your FB page, maybe your Twitter accounts, maybe your Instagram, even sometimes your bank accounts. Another technique that uh, I also tried is a technique on uh, key loggers. Key loggers means uh, you can always launch, launch an application to somebody else phone. You can also launch an application to somebody else computer. And every time they type using their keyboard, these key loggers will always record the information within the application. So somebody can always come, launch the app within your system, and the moment you click, uh, the moment you click, let's say your Mpesa pin, your bank account details, uh, when this guy comes again and revisits your revisit your your phone, he can definitely go to the application, and the application stores a database of everything you entered through your keyboard. So that is a key logger techniques. We need always to be very careful when it comes to to giving out our um, you know our tools such as our computers, uh, phones, because that is what most hackers uh, normally use. Uh, another another technique that uh, most hackers use, they can always launch a virus in your computer. Sometimes people can send you some documents, which uh, something which seems to be a document maybe something which seems to be uh, an application and at the end of the day that stuff or maybe that uh, that application can always interrupt your system so you find somebody can launch a virus in your in your phone or maybe in your in your computer um, and this thing normally what people do we have websites which have been set aside just to to have these apps so uh, when you are accessing internet always be very careful not not every site is uh, is allowed or maybe is authorized to download your applications um uh some some websites uh, really have uh, these apps which uh, when you download they can always go into your system and corrupt your system maybe they can crash your system and even some can gain access to to your information and somebody can even access your web cameras somebody can access, access your microphone uh, it can also be able to operate your computer at a distance so hackers are so many in, are so many within Kenya there are so many in Africa and also the entire globe we've got so many hackers who always have very bad intention to access your, your information now uh, normally hackers have deals with different people let's say for example uh, a hacker can make an agreement to to do a certain task for specific people big people in the in the in the in the government they hire hackers people within the local community they also hire hackers um, uh, you can find maybe they can have an agreement to do a specific research to get some information and normally they can meet in a specific room and uh, they can share the information and at the end of the day the hackers gain something in terms of monetary values uh, let's say you can be given some money uh, for the sake of uh, for the sake of the of that information so we need to be very careful uh, another thing about hackers they are very consistent they don't get tired they can always uh, change different locations just to acquire specific information uh, so if you want to be a hacker uh, I don't encourage you to be a black at hacker or maybe a grey at hacker I encourage you to be a white hat hacker somebody who who uh, who probes security weakness to help organization develop a stronger security so you can always go to the internet learn how to do the ethical hackings do research on hacking identify the weak spots and uh, once you gain maybe an access to some information you can always go to the, the organization uh, you can inform them about the weakness of, of their security and of course that is how we help uh, our companies grow so um, we have different courses such as a cyber security course a course like uh, the ethical hacking course uh, always try to research on the internet you always get and always uh, you can have a lesson and tutorials also uh, so it is very good we be very wise when it comes to issues on 
cyber security. So I encourage you, don't be a black hat, don't be grey hat, just be a white hat. If you have any question, you can always put on the comment section. You can also share, like, and also subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.